As always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Anyways, today we're making a dish that's not only super healthy for you, but it's packed with a ton of flavors and it's the kind of food that's gonna make you feel like a million bucks. We're talking a pinto bean salad. This is known in Spain as una ensalada de judías pintas. Now the beauty of this salad is that you can enjoy all year round as you can serve it at room temperature or even chilled on a hot summer's day. Either way, this recipe is very easy to make, made with a small handful of the most basic ingredients and the best part, done in just 10 minutes. Really quick before we start, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Tommy Williams, Jim Schaller, Sean Murphy, and Barbara Eastman. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's begin by cracking open a jar of pinto beans. This is the same thing as the canned ones and draining them into a fine sieve. The size of the jar I'm using is 560 grams, which is about 20 ounces. And we'll rinse the beans under some cold running water. And this is such an important step when you're working with canned or jarred beans, as it removes any of the preservatives in the beans. That way later on when you add them into the dish, they can absorb all the flavors. Then we'll shake off any of the excess water and add the beans into a large bowl. And as for the rest of the ingredients we'll be adding into the salad, I'm gonna finally chop one small carrot that's already been peeled and washed. We'll also finally chop one small red bell pepper. And as you know, when I'm working with bell peppers, I like to cut around them, that way there's no seeds involved. We'll finally chop the bulb from a spring onion. And we'll also finally chop a small handful of the leaves from the spring onion. And then we'll add in all the chopped ingredients into the bowl with the pinto beans. And for the final ingredients to add into our salad, I'm going to add in three tablespoons of garlic infused olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. Of course, you can use regular olive oil here, but by using garlic infused, it gives this salad a beautiful list of garlic goodness, but without being overpowering. You'll find a link where you can get the one I'm using from Biazzo in the description box below. We'll also add in one tablespoon of sherry vinegar. You can substitute this for either red wine, white wine, or even apple cider vinegar. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. And once again, remember to be gentle, otherwise you can easily break those beans apart. Once the salad is well mixed, this dish is ready to go. At this point, you can cover it with saran wrap and add it into the fridge. It'll hold for up to four to five days, or you can serve it at room temperature. Either way, check it out. Our pinto bean salad is done. Once again, known in Spain as una ensalada de judías pintas. Super easy to make, the most basic ingredients, and all done in just 10 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Seriously, this has to be one of the easiest recipes we've ever done here on the show. But regardless, look how beautiful this turned out. Can't wait to try this. Here we go. Y'all have a big bite. Check that out. So many great textures and flavors. Those pinto beans have a beautiful texture. And they absorb the flavors from the garlic infused olive oil and the sherry vinegar for an explosion of so much goodness and the rest of the ingredients taking this salad to the next level. You saw this easy to make done in just 10 minutes with absolutely no cooking. Till the next time, hasta luego.